Hello, and welcome to another edition of You News, where you get You News. Our top story tonight is a story within a story. Goldman Sachs, longtime Bitcoin hater, has recently become the first U.S. bank to allow over-the-counter trading of cryptocurrency as of this week. Their homepage website even reflects this massive popularity shift towards Web3. But the real story is that the CEO of the financial institution is DJing at Lollapalooza. The team at U News was very disappointed to hear his stage name was DJ Saul and felt he missed several opportunities to name himself something more in line with his industry. DJ 401k, DJ pension, DJ underperforms the S&P, or maybe for flipping his stance on Bitcoin after it became valuable, DJ hypocrite. I don't know what his signature sound is, but my guess is that it's that obnoxious bell that opens and closes the market with a remix. Next up, are you getting a divorce because your spouse has been lying to you? Consider crypto as a form of financially lying to them. A popular Reddit report has stated that spouses currently separating have been using cryptocurrency to hide millions from each other, as those don't show up on bank statements to be accounted for from years ago. I'm assuming this trend has statistically been women hiding crypto from men, though, because I know men can't actually find shit. Moving over to the craziest state in the union, Florida has announced they will allow Bitcoin as a form of payment for taxes. Earlier this week, Governor Ron DeSantis also announced that Florida will require a financial literacy course for high school students before graduation. I'm so glad that Floridians will now understand the value of a dollar and consequences of a student loan in a state where people on meth get arrested for taking a pet gator with them to Walmart on a dog leash. Would you like your crypto to be more like your cell phone bill? Well, the newest wallet service provider in the game is Verizon, who recently announced a collaboration with iCoin for a secure hardware wallet. Some further digging revealed the wallet only supports two currencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum, which is in line with Verizon's original industry, since the only other choices there are AT&T and T-Mobile. Our last story tonight is more wallet-related news. Useless Crypto has announced the near completion of its multi-chain wallet in the All for One app, being the first wallet on the market to display coins from multiple chains, including Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, and even Harmony, all on one page. Many have asked why other apps have not done this with the rising popularity of other network tokens beyond BSC and ETH, the useless crypto team said, building an original wallet from scratch has been difficult, but worth it. And any other wallet unable to achieve effortless multi-chain display is because of trust wallets forking problems. That's all for this week's edition of You News, where you get useless news. I'm Tupac, of course, and up next is one day at Fernie's. Happy Migration Day, guys. <laughs>